Hey everybody, Andy here. Let's talk about Black Mirror Season 3. The Black Mirror Season 3 was written, created, and executively produced by Charlie Brooker. It was released October 21st, 2016 on Netflix. All three seasons are viewable there right now. Some of the acting talent for this British anthology science fiction satire series are Bryce Dallas Howard, Mackenzie Davis, Kelly MacDonald, Alice Eve, Jerome Flynn, and Michael Kelly, to name a few. The Black Mirror Season 3 is currently sitting at 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. Alright, so if you haven't seen my earlier review I did on Black Mirror Season 1 and 2, that came out, I don't know, a few months ago. And at that time, I just heard that they were re... Um, they... they decided to make more episodes, and they announced that, and they were going to come out on Netflix. Originally, I heard it was going to be 18 episodes, uh, and I thought that was way too much. But what I think they're doing, and I was unable to find this information again, so I might have read it, it might have been some forum, some guy just talking. It might have been, you know, something just, you know, like some guy just said. Anyways, it's the third season is only six episodes, which is plenty. It's 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 enough because each episode is an hour. There's, I think, one or two that are an hour and a half. So they're basically mini movies. And if you don't know, also, it's an anthology series. So each episode is an episode all by itself. Um, if it is connected in any way, it's very, very loosely. And um, I don't really think any of them are connected at all besides they're kind of futuristic. Or at least the technology is... Um, further advanced than we are right now. Um, the people and the cars and, you know, the environment seems very similar today, maybe, you know, five, ten years from now. So it doesn't seem like it's a very distant future, it's just in the future and technology is more advanced. That's basically all that connects these, I believe. Um, they're all very intriguing, they all keep your attention. They all have some sort of underlying moral, I believe. Yeah, you probably have to watch them once or twice to kind of really, you know, understand them more or draw conclusions on them. They all have, like, a mystery that is involved. They all keep you thinking. So they're great for, um, if you like that sort of thing, sort of psychological, um, they're not thrillers. It's psychological mysteries, um, science fiction, fantasy type of show. Um, the first two seasons were great. They got better as they went on. And this is, um, the third season's the best, if you ask me. There was one episode I was kind of, mm, I, I'm not going to say which one because I don't want to ruin it. There was one that was, you know, it was good. It just wasn't as good as the other ones. And the rest of the series is excellent. The last episode's really good. There was one with, um, <laughs> it was like a troll episode where, um, there's somebody that's that that hacks into people's computers and he makes them do things because he has like evidence on him, so he's blackmailing them, and he kind of makes them do all these sort of crazy things. And at first, you think it's a how far will these people go to not let certain things get um, known about them? And it's it's pretty crazy. It's intense, and uh, the ending is pretty amazing. So. I know all all the episodes are great. You should give it a watch. It's Black Mirror season three. Give it a shot. You'll enjoy it. It's on Netflix right now. Hey everybody, Andy here. Thanks for watching my review on the Black Mirror season three. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. All that great YouTube stuff. If not, I will check you later.
I had a girlfriend once who wore a cowbell. <laughs>